I just want to say that I've been up for two hours now. And I haven't eaten anything but two spoonfuls of hot and sour soup and a jug of water. Hey everyone, my name is Ty Renee. You can call me Ty and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Hi, how are you doing? If you're not new, welcome back. First off, I just want to say, um, Happy New Year. It's 2022. I know 2021 was something for a lot of people i can probably say that i could definitely say that for myself it was definitely something but i'm actually excited for the new year um you know we have a new set of 365 days ahead of us and a lot of us have a whole lot of goals that we want to accomplish and i know you all have accomplished a lot in this past year i can say so for myself at least not too much but i mean I'm not going to get my whole life together in one year, but I know for me, at least, I've gotten some stuff done and I'm proud of myself. And whether you've done very little or something mid or if you've done a lot this year, I want you to give a pat on your back because I want you to be proud of yourself. I don't want you to look down upon yourself and feel like you haven't done nothing. If anything, the best thing you could have ever done for yourself this year was wake up that's the best thing anybody could ever do so for this video i'm actually going to be doing unpopular kingdom hearts opinions now i use twitter a lot and i noticed i've been on kingdom hearts twitter well i've been on twitter in general since like i'm gonna say like april of 2020 and I joined Twitter specifically for like Kingdom Hearts and Disney related stuff. Sometimes I dabble in a little bit of Final Fantasy 7 Remake to be exact. I dabble in that sometimes. But um, I've been on Twitter for almost two years and I notice a lot um, the Kingdom Hearts community likes to come together every once in a while and ask like, okay, what are your unpopular Kingdom Hearts opinions? And a lot of people um, put them on there. But I realized I don't know when's the next time they're going to do that. And I just don't want to sit here waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to bring it up. So then we can have the discussion all over again. And I have a YouTube channel. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just give you all my unpopular opinions right here, right now. I actually put a poll up on my Twitter. And by the time y'all see this, like the poll will be like expired. So I was like um do you guys want to see me talk about my unpopular kingdom hearts opinions or talk about what i would like to see in the future of kingdom hearts and y'all said unpopular kh opinions so we're going to be doing that y'all going to get the other video with what i want to see in the future of kingdom hearts very 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 soon but for now we're going to talk about my unpopular kingdom hearts opinion now before i actually get into my unpopular opinions i want to give out a disclaimer and let you know that there will be spoilers there will be spoilers so if you have not played all the games from kingdom hearts 1 all the way to melody and memory don't watch this video because there's going to be a lot of spoilers i'm going to get in depth a lot with most of the opinions some of them are self-explanatory but for the most part i'm really going to get in depth with why I feel the way I feel about certain things. So just letting y'all know. So the first thing I actually have on my list is I don't like Larxene at all. I don't like Larxene, not one bit. And I say that because of Chain of Memories. If y'all know me, y'all know that Naminé and Riku are my favorite Kingdom Hearts characters. And I just don't like how she treated Naminé. Um, I mean, she slapped her for one, for disobeying her not i mean she's yeah she she technically nominate that was i guess that was technically nominate's master in a certain degree but she slapped her like she was a child for one and i don't remember it's been a while since i played chain of memories but i don't remember if she verbally abused her too either or she had no place in doing that now elrena I might get passed by maybe Elrin Elrina. I think that's how you pronounce her her somebody name. But Larxene can 
I'm glad she's gone. I'm glad that she's gone because I don't like her. Not not one bit. It's kind of annoying to into a certain. I, mm -mm. Mm -mm. So my next unpopular opinion. I don't think this is necessarily unpopular, but I don't really see people talk about it much. But I feel like Disney should promote Kingdom Hearts more often because I remember when I was younger, um, when I used to watch Disney Channel, um, during commercial breaks, I remember seeing Kingdom Hearts 2, like, during commercial breaks. And if y'all don't know, well, I think everybody knows, but sometimes people don't really remember. So, um, Haley Joel Osment is the brother of Emily Osment, who played Lily on Hannah Montana. And I remember Disney had this segment called Disney, I think it was either Disney 411 or Disney 365. And they would basically talk about, um, like, upcoming movies and stuff, like people on the red carpet and things of that sort. And I remember they were talking about Kingdom Hearts 2 on the red carpet. And it was Emily Osmond, she was saying, like, how she's happy that her brother was, like, in this and, like, jokingly oh like oh Haley doesn't let her like play kingdom hearts and stuff like that video games or whatever and i remember actually i think david gallagher gallagher can i pronounce david gallagher um the voice actor for riku i think he was talking about how excited he was too and i know jesse mccartney was there for sure on the red carpet i think they were taking pictures and stuff for like the premiere of kingdom hearts 2 anyways my point is i feel like disney should really just go back to promoting kingdom hearts because in recent years, like, I don't watch Disney Channel anymore, um, because I have Disney Plus, obviously, Disney Plus does not have, like, commercials and stuff, and, like, commercial breaks, like, how Disney Channel did before we had the streaming services, but, um, before I had Disney Plus, um, sometimes if I were to watch, like, Disney Channel, and, like, on commercial breaks, it wasn't, like, nothing promoting, like, Kingdom Hearts stuff, and I feel like when it comes to promoting, I feel like it, like the other games that aren't main titles, it doesn't really get promoted as much. Now, I know like Kingdom Hearts and 2 and 3, like those were big things. I know like both of those things were like very, very big because they're long awaited. And I understand that, but I feel like the other games should have been promoted too because from the public it kind of looks like oh two is here two came out like in 2005 six and then it just like went quiet and quiet and quiet to the public at least and it just quiet and quiet and then boom kingdom hearts 3 just comes out all of a sudden now i you know i'm a huge fan so i kept up with it at the time but i feel like if i was just something who never just someone who never got into kingdom hearts before and just looked from the outside i would have been like well dang i didn't know they were still making games i don't i feel like square enix kind of promotes kingdom hearts more than disney does vanitas does not deserve a redemption arc at all not one bit he does not deserve a redemption arc and you know why he doesn't because in no way, shape, or form, he has shown that he wanted to redeem himself and change. And in Kingdom Hearts 3, after we beat him, he made it clear. He is darkness. He doesn't want to be a part of the light. He is who he is because of darkness. Darkness is who he is. And I, I don't know... We don't know if he's ever going to come back. Maybe because, for the most part, people in Kingdom Hearts that die, they more likely come back. So if he does come back, I don't think he's going to be redeemed. And if he does get redeemed, it's not going to have be like a good redemption arc like Riku. I feel like in chronolog chronological order, I feel like the first phase should have ended at Kingdom Hearts 2. Not necessarily chronological order, but like from release date order from KH1 to KH2 in that order if they were released. I feel like that should have ended there because I feel like Sora, Kairi, and Riku coming back together was like the main, main storyline, like the main focus. And then we could have went from, we could have like had that and then we went from 358 over to 
days starting off like a new phase from there and then kingdom hearts 3 that should have been the second phase and then the third phase should have been remind and we're currently what's the latest game that came out was it dark road or melody and memory melody and memory so i feel like now we could have been in the third phase because i feel like sora kairi riku coming back together was like a completely different storyline and then touching on um xehanort and the keyblade war completely different topic completely different focus and now this new focus of Sora bringing Sora back into his world. Um, I'm looking at, I'm trying to look at this camera. Completely different focus. So I just feel like it should have been broken down. I know there's subplots. I know that that exists. A lot of y'all are going to be like, there's plots within the big plot. I understand that. But I just feel like, it, I just feel like the whole one phase we have now were like two big main plots and that's a, a lot to take in and i just feel like we should be in the third i'm not complaining but i just feel like now this this phase that we're in now should be the third phase Namine does not need a keyblade at all and she is my favorite character i love her every time i play a game i always look forward to seeing her i love her with all my heart i love her i do she does not need a keyblade why does she not need a keyblade because she has powers and I feel like her powers, I feel like we haven't seen her full potential with her powers. And I feel like in this next era, we're really going to see what she's really capable of. And it's not necessarily with fighting, but just, I don't, I don't know what it is. I just feel like with her, I feel like she, she can really, really be at use and she can have a really good storyline without physically fighting. She's been good throughout these past games. And guess what? She hasn't been, like, physically on the battlefield fighting. And I feel like um, there's more to her. But giving her a Keyblade is not going to build her character. It's not. You know why? Because this is what's going to happen. I, in my opinion... Here I go with this in my opinion. So, what I personally feel is going to happen is that if she is given a Keyblade and she still has her powers... A lot of people are going to complain about it a lot of people are going to complain because i feel as if people are like well why does she get two different abilities and uh why does she get powers in a keyblade does that mean everybody else get power and then it's just gonna be a whole mess so i i feel like she I don't, i'm not gonna put her on the back burner because she's my favorite she deserves more screen time and in a huge storyline for herself but giving her a keyblade is not the way to build her character for me like i enjoy disney worlds i do but i when it comes to the disney worlds i just want to go in there do what needs to be done and just move on and move closer and closer and closer to the main storyline the back and forthness the second world visits. No. Tinkerbell is the best summon throughout the whole series. And I say this because... I'll say this. When I'm playing um, any of the games, I really don't use summons as much. If I do, I use Tinkerbell. If I use somebody else, it's because I was accidentally spamming buttons. Um, I, so confession. So when I'm playing a KH game, I do not give Donald or Goofy any potions, no ether. I don't give them none of that. You know why? Because they run through it like that over small stuff. I don't give it to them. I don't. It's either in stock or it's to Sora. I don't give it to them because they use it on the smallest things when it can be more useful, obviously, for, like, the harder stuff and the bigger bosses. Um, they go through it really, really fast. I remember one time earlier this year I was replaying Kingdom Hearts 1, and I was um, 
fighting Chernobog from, again, Kingdom Hearts 1, and you might be thinking, well, Ty, I mean, that's kind of difficult. It is difficult. It is. But the thing is, from what I remember, I had all my potions. You know, my magic was up, up there. It was rising. It was up there. Um, and I would use um, Cure if I found myself getting my health getting low instead of using the magic because I was trying to save that for like the little fighting session you had to unlock the little heart pieces before getting to the door and fighting Ansem because that is long that's very time consuming and I am like fighting and fighting and fighting and these guys right here Donald and Goofy both of them both of them they will have like this much health taken from them like their health would be like this but they'll have this much damage and if they have this much damage they will automatically use a, a mega potion which i mean i guess is fine no no it's not fine because i'm fully healed they have this much both of them will have this much and then, like, they use the mecha potion, and then it just goes back to this. Do I really need to explain? No. And that's when Tinkerbell comes in. I feel like Tinkerbell comes in because I don't have to worry about healing them every gosh darn minute. Um, I don't have to worry about them wasting it. Without Kyrie. Nominee and Tara. None of y'all favorite characters would be alive in the Keyblade War in Kingdom Hearts 3. So, we all know that Kairi was the light for Sora. You know, when they was, like, flying in that little dark... I don't want to say darkness, but, like, in that dark atmosphere for a little bit of course we all know that tara was helping the lingering will was the link well the lingering will was tara and was fighting off tara north for a little bit and we know later in remind that Namine was actually trying to talk to tara about helping her friends but i feel like everybody forgot um a couple years back when the kingdom hearts orchestra can that come back please the orchestra world tour first of all i'm gonna get off topic real quick orchestra world tour please come back i know we end up i can't say that word because i think youtube is gonna cut cut that word out i think youtube might take this video down if i say the p word but i know we're in the middle of a p word but when things lighten up i want that concert to come back because i have not been to a concert yet i'm 21 i need to live Okay, that concert needs to come back so I can lose my concert virginity. I want to have a good time. So anyways, in the concert a couple years back, there was like a secret, like, I don't know if it was a cutscene or it was just dialogue, but it was just dialogue between Namine and Tara. And Tara was explaining that he needed to help his friends and things of that sort. And Namine was like, yeah go ahead and help them and you know use the lingering will to help them and that connects with the lingering will in terra nord incident in kingdom hearts 3 so i'm saying this because Kyrie, nominee and terra are very underrated i feel like in recent days not a lot of people hate Kyrie anymore because they understand that what she does and what has happened to her in the story it's not her fault tara is hated on for causing a lot of the stuff that has happened in the story but really riku does the same thing and gets praised i love riku i do but the 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 double standards no Nominee, I've never really seen people hate Nominee too much. All I've seen was that people said that Nominee was... I saw one person on Twitter say that Nominee was boring. 
which is your opinion. I mean, that's fine. But I've never really seen people hate Namine the way they do Tara and Kyrie. And I will say this, as much... I'll say this. They're underrated. I'll put it like that. As underrated as they are, they deserve recognition. Because, once again, without them, y'all favorite characters in the Keyway War that took part in Keyway War, Kingdom Hearts 3, would be dead. All of them would be dead. Darkness would prevail. There's no other way for me to say it gone so tifa kind of resembles as you thought out to me in a little bit and you're probably like ty where did that come from i say this because Kyrie's actual character design is inspired by you um whatever her hair is um it resembled what you hair was like at the time um so kingdom hearts one of course Kyrie kind of had like this short well, she, she stayed, had short hair. So she had, like, the short hair, like, right here. And then her hair came like this in two. And then it's like this, but, like, with curls and, like, the little bumped ends at the three. At three. Basically, Nomura said himself that whatever you taught it was, hair was looking like, basically inspired, like, Kyrie's character design. And I, I was looking at a picture of Tifa um on twitter a couple of weeks ago and i was just looking at her face and i was just like is she really resembles you thought not to say that Kyrie doesn't i mean i know i don't know i i don't know what it is it's like something in the face like i was really looking at her face and i was like hold on i thought this was you thought and i had to put them like side by side and i was like oh pretty pretty girls I really don't want to see like Star Wars or Marvel in Kingdom Hearts games because I feel like I'm, I'm be honest we technically do have Marvel in Kingdom Hearts because of Big Hero 6 and I feel like a lot of I for a split second forgot that Big Hero 6 was like Marvel property because if y'all don't know if y'all watched like the very 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 last scene of Big Hero 6 um Fred's dad is revealed to be Stan Lee. Rest in peace to him. Um, I kind of forgot. I, I, it's, it's, I forget because when I think of Marvel, I think of like, obviously like Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Spider-Man. I like, um, what was her name? Black Widow. Like, I, I, I just, I think of things like that and I just don't think, I, I just feel like those are two different universes with Star Wars. So I just feel like Kingdom Hearts, Star Wars, and Marvels are like three different universes. And I just feel like Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts, like, and Marvel won't really fit into Kingdom Hearts really, really well. So I just, at this, I think it's best if those two stay over there. And Kingdom Hearts right here. Yeah. Anybody that died in the Keyboy War in Kingdom Hearts 3 does not need to come back. Except for Larkseen, Lucia, and Marluxia. Because we know that um, all the nobodies have like a somebody form. We've seen almost everybody's form except for theirs and Demics. We don't know who they are. I'm honestly surprised that no one has said this on Twitter or anywhere else on social media. If we get a Kingdom Hearts TV show, I only want it to be about Sora, Kyrie, and Riku as kids living on the island in just their day-to-day -day life. And I want this show to be exclusively on Disney+. Plus. So for the spells, confusion, bind, poison, slow, and sleep cells from birth by sleep need to come back. I know this video is going to be long because my throat is like starting to get dry. And I know that's how I know my video is going to be long because from me talking so much, my throat gets dry and I have to drink water. I really hope this ain't going to be an hour long video because I know, I know y'all not going to sit through this. <laughs> this reminder drink water please
drink your water put some ice in it put some if you don't like plain water put like lemon water in it some like strawberries it'll be like infused water and it's healthy and it's sweet kingdom dance is the best mini game kingdom dance is not only cute but i feel like a mini game should not be frustrating i feel like a mini game you should take a break from the main plot line now i want to play kingdom hearts 3 i'm playing kingdom hearts 3 after this i feel like a mini game should not be stressful and i feel like in the past of the other mini games that i played in the other games i i didn't find myself irritated but i just kind of was just like it shouldn't be stressful no the 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 the, the I'll tell you one mini game that really pisses me off. That chair swing thing in Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh my god. <laughs> I miss the old graphics. And it's not that the new ones are bad or anything. It's just the old ones are more nostalgic. I would love to see Aqua and Tifa interact with each other. Because to me, they gave off like the same like energy in regards of like fighting they're i feel like they're, they're very sweet and kind and i just love to see them together like i feel like final fantasy 7 tifa and kingdom hearts tifa are kind of like two different things in a sense but i would love to see them together just like fighting with next to each other side by side by like for against like i don't know if i say sephiroth because sephiroth is hard but just like somebody but i just i just i just want to see these two girls interact with each other now i would definitely love to see aqua and larxene in a fight now i was thinking about this i think a couple months ago somebody posted something on twitter and i was just like i'm surprised aqua and larxene didn't fight in kingdom hearts 3 and y'all probably think well it makes sense because aqua and larxene like kind of like two different storylines like they really don't have nothing in common with each other besides being women which is true but i i feel like aqua here's the thing there's a reason why nomura didn't put aqua and larxene in a boss fight together you know why i apologize if this video was long but that is actually it for all of my unpopular kingdom hearts opinions did y'all agree with me did y'all disagree with me what are y'all unpopular opinions? Go ahead and put them down below and we can have a discussion right then and there. But that is actually it for today's video. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow me on all of my social media platforms down below. And y'all feel free to leave some suggestions on what kind of videos that I want to see from me. I've already made a list of like YouTube videos. I plan on my YouTube videos so I already know what I'm going to be doing. But if there's something that y'all would really really like for me to see just let me know and i will put that out more than i will the videos that i planned out so yeah um thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys soon in the next video bye